Hey guys, it's Devin here with Awesome Tech 323. It's been about a year since I made a video on this channel, and that's because technology costs money, and I don't have that much of that. I can't just go out and get the newest and latest greatest thing, as some of the other tech channels can. But today, I do have something for you. I got this from a friend of mine, and we're going to review it. It is the GPX Mini Projector from Dollar General. So as I said, this is the GPX mini projector. It comes from Dollar General and it costs $50. And this claims to project up to 100 inches, has 3000 lumens, an HDMI import, a media port USB, built-in speaker, and a remote control. It has a native resolution of 320 by 240, which is not a crazy amount, but it supports 480p, 720p, 1080i, and 1080p. It has a focus adjuster, and once again, it goes up to 100 inches, but it recommends a 55 inch size. So let's get this thing set up, and let's see just how good it is. So in order to test whether or not this thing is any good, I have Jerry rigged it onto a stand pointed at a wall and I have connected it with my Nintendo Switch. It's connected through the one HDMI cable in the back of the device. Audio is coming from the projector and so we will see just how good this is. We can dial in our focus if we need to. Uh, the first thing I'm noticing is very pixelated which I totally expected it did not say it had a very large native resolution it was 320 by 280 or something like that and as you can see it is in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio which does not look the best for the Nintendo Switch and modern day consoles but to give it a shot we're going to test out some Saints Row the third because that's what is currently in my Switch and that does not take any internet, and I have terrible internet. Fish Labs. Volition. Yeah, I cannot read any of that. When the following appears, do not turn off your console. The only reason I know it says that is because I've seen it so many times. This is the audio from this projector. This is the image from the projector. This is not a flat wall, so that is adding a little bit of texture to it. Let's see if we can turn up the volume at all. The volume is maxed out at 32. get out of here with the 4 by 3 it's just squeezed down so these these cars are looking kind of odd um, everything's supposed to be longer than it is currently the audio of it is and it, it, it probably sounds different on camera and it probably works looks worse on camera too you're watching this through YouTube which has pretty high compression rating but in person it's not terrible I can hear the projector no problem and I can see it enough to understand what is going on um, this is probably pretty close to the hundred inches that it reckon that it says it can go up to so we have to keep that in mind as well. If we move it closer to the wall, it'll look better because it's going to be smaller. But this is roughly the 100 inches that it says it can go up to. Any higher than this, I definitely think would be a little bit too much noise and pixelated to really enjoy what is going on at all. Some people just can't fight. So the gunshots are not a terrible sound, you know. 
It is a single speaker. It is probably not a very great speaker. There we go. Uh, but it is it is definitely passable for what it is. And we're talking about a fifty dollar projector versus you know, a three hundred dollar projector, or even up into the thousand dollar projectors, man. You know, this is not going to compare with the projector, you know, that the movie theater uses, obviously. It's not for that purpose. This is a travel projector just so you can... I, I could really see this thing being useful for a uh, on-the-go businessman who has to show, you know, spreadsheets and stuff like that to a bunch of people. This fits easily inside of a bag or briefcase and just a single HDMI unit or if you will have it all on a flash drive there's a USB port that can read data from the flash drive. Gaming I don't really think is the intended purpose of this projector but obviously that's what I'm going to use it for as I am not an on-the-go businessman who needs to show a bunch of people a bunch of spreadsheets. The fan on it is decently quiet. It's, uh, when nothing is playing on it, it sounds fairly loud, but once stuff starts playing through the speaker, it quickly over overdrives the fan speed. So you don't really have to worry about that. And there's an explosion. The colors are decently well. You can pretty well tell that I have green hair and a purple jacket. Its resolution is high enough that you can understand what is going on. This would definitely be a better projector suited for watching things or looking at presentations as opposed to playing video games. This would definitely not be at, at this size anyway, this would not be the ideal projector for a graphic novel type video game or something along those lines just because the resolution is not high enough that you'd be able to read what is happening and a graphic novel that is kind of a necessity. So how does the GPX mini projector stack up? For $50, it is not a bad projector by any means. Um, is it a great projector? No, but its only cost is $50. You really kind of have to limit your expectations, really. Should you get this? I don't really know. If you need a projector that is easily transportable and you only have $50, hands down, get this little projector. If you're just wanting to save a little money and not get the $400 projector and don't get this. This is nowhere near the quality that you can find in the mid to high level projectors that are four, five, six hundred dollars or more. If you just need a transportable projector that's easily thrown into a bag or put in your briefcase so that you can take with you on the go, go ahead and give it a shot. It's only fifty dollars. You know, it's not gonna break the bank and it'll get the job done. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and feel free to subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more cheap tech reviews like this. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching. And as always, stay awesome.